Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mac. This is Cyrus Kim. And today we're going to go ahead and talk about bliss. Because this this idea came up actually when I was listening to one of my podcasts I like to listen to. And it's at um, www.radiolab.org. And basically what Radio Lab is, it kind of um, helps people. It's kind of like a radio show, but it uses... Um, like audio engineering, so they they usually do things in like um, audio documentary, similar to National Public Radio NPR. However, they use a lot of um, interesting audio things that kind of and they kind of do nice history, a little bit of science, a little philosophic, a little stuff about philosophy about the human experience, and they kind of actually kind of like take you, let your imagination learn things. So the host is Jab Abumurad, and then there's also, who, who's a younger man than his older um, host, which is great because the dynamics between the two ages is really interesting for understanding. And the, the older gentleman is Robert Curlich, which, so I've been listening to this, and I've kind of like listened to every single one of their podcasts. It's really good for just, um, basically to me it's for the human experience. But they did a show recently about bliss. Me and Cyrus actually went to one of their traveling shows. It's visual, but it's audio. And um, how did you like it? You put me onto them. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I think science is very important. And I like their style. They make it fun. And I it, and it's kind of like they make it fun. They make it hip. And the thing I liked about their show is like you see like everybody in the show is kind of smart. Like you know the audience. You wouldn't really go to their show if you don't really like science. But it's done in such a way that it makes it cool. And for a newcomer who may not be used to that, it makes you feel inviting. Mm-hmm. And you know, and I love how they package their stuff and stuff. And I enjoyed it. And I respect their work as I'm starting to see more, listen to more of their shows. So I definitely have a lot of respect for what they do. Yeah, and I really like it because they, they'll do stuff like you, you kind of like experience things from someone else's perception. Like, you know, they talked about, I remember one, the one we talked about was the evolution of... Um, the eye and light it was it was like about darkness and they're talking about like what perception of darkness means for someone who was blind their experience versus like an astronaut that was in up, <laughs> up remember he was up in like outer space and he, he thought he was gonna die because they were gonna like lose their space shuttle it's just really interesting but you they kind of like tell a story so it's kind of like storytelling but they add like audio but it's also very educational so one of the ones the most recent ones they had was about basically bliss so they had different types of stories and you know they had a story about mr bliss who was like an 86 year old guy who you know well it, it's there's like all different types of stories i don't want to get into it i highly recommend people to get into it but basically it made me come up with the reason we should talk about it was talking about like bliss so the cons the question is like what exactly is bliss and what do people, you know, what's the difference between bliss and what's the difference between happiness? And that was like the question. No one really knew how to answer that. So how would you describe bliss? For me, I would describe bliss as, as a state of being. Um, I would describe it as your heart chakra vibrating at a certain energy, certain frequency. That no matter what happens to you, you stay content. It's a little different than happiness because happiness is sort of like, it's like, for me, from my perspective, it's a lower emotion that can go up and down. It, 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 it's kind of connected to sadness. So when you're happy, you're happy you get a car, and then you're sad after six months because you're tired of it. Happiness is more, to me, subject to ups and downs rhythm. It's like where temporary, it's, right? Yeah, it was temporary, where bliss is more, no matter what happens, for the most part, you're fine. Because it's, your heart chakra is vibrating at a certain frequency. That no matter what happens, the heart chakra is unique because it could, it could take in low frequencies, it could take in high frequencies. Mm-hmm. So when you're really vibrating in bliss, you should be able to maintain that attitude no matter what happens for the most part. Mm-hmm. So I think it's a much higher level than happiness. To me, it's much more stable and it's consistent. And from my perspective, it's probably happy. It's probably a little bit higher than what people call happiness from my perspective. But I, I think, you know, when I was thinking about it, I was like, I, it made me wonder, like, what exactly is bliss? And I think, like, I think bliss would be, from my own personal um, 
if I had to make my own understanding of it, is when you get around people and then you guys just like click. And you don't even have to know the person for a very, 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 very long time. Or you can meet with a whole bunch of complete strangers and everyone lets down that ego, persona, personality. And everyone just laughs uncontrollably at the bottom of their heart. But we all like seeing each other without our mask on, like our ego. And I think to me, I think that's that's bliss. So it's interesting because on like this Radio Lab episode, you know, lots, there's a lot of. Um, you know, criterias that can be categorized as bliss. And some of them was like, you know, a sense of oneness, um, intangible, um, kind of like, you know, it's just interesting. But, but I know if people never really experience bliss, they say, oh, it's kind of like ultimate happiness. But it's kind of like a different feeling. Isn't it? And when you say it's like connecting into your heart chakras, I can definitely see that because it's like, you know, like you said, like your kundalini coming up from your root to your sacral, um, kind of your solar plex, and just like expanding through your heart. And then you just feel like, and, oh, what was that? I mean, can you think of it like when people have like that kundalini awakening, or people who have that like third eye awakening and it's just like throbbing? You know, if, people who know what I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about, where your third eye is just thriving. You're like, wow, this is crazy. Or you feel that crown chakra thriving. I can see it being the same part in your heart, but because it's because your heart is like connected to almost everyone else's heart, if you use it correctly, your heart is vibrating. You just feel like an, like in awe with everyone else, and, and I think that's why. If I had to try to, it's really hard to put into words. But if I have to describe it, that's why I think like when you laugh in from your heart and you're sensing each other's heart, and you're like, "This is cool. It's like a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling." You know what I mean? I agree. That's probably why. If you look at your your theory on it, it's probably why it's contagious. The heart chakra is like, it could go from one person's heart chakra to the next person. The heart chakra is like, all of them are important, but heart chakra is no joke. So you think bliss is a contagious then? Yeah, it can be. Hmm. It can be. Some people are a pleasure to be around. You don't know why. Oh, so you, you think when people say like, oh, you're just, you, you're just like fun to be around. They're like tapping into that bliss of that heart chakra well, in a sense. if you think of it, if, if, if you, when you could sense, you, when you're in some place, in some, in some location, you could sense people looking at you. That's true. That's intuition. You yeah. You understand? It's the same thing. Right. So, I mean, in, in fact, a lot of times when people talk about, like, being able to sense people's feelings, it's really the heart chakra. Like, the heart the heart is, like, before you get to the head. Before that telepathy that people right, talk about, right, it actually right. goes from the gut. The gut is the first. Yeah. Just and like then, it goes, yeah, that's then true. it goes to the heart. And that's true. And, that, and that's why I, I realized, too, if people have, like, a blocked heart chakra, you can kind of, like, you know, once you start tapping into, like, the higher chakras, you can kind of sense it. Like, I don't know, like... That person's really cool and saying all the right things logically, but something just doesn't feel right. And it's not coming from your gut. You know, mm -hmm. people say, get that gut feeling. It's coming from, like, your heart. Mm -hmm. Like, now, I'm, I'm noticing, like, I can sense people's heart chakras. And you can feel like, hmm, because you're cool, I'm going to stay with you because I don't want to see your true colors. <laughs> so, like, I can sense you, but I'm going to keep it distant. You know what I mean? It's, and that's, that's so true, you know. But, you know, I never thought of it, but it's true. It's like when you have that kundalini awakening from your third eye or two crown chakras, basically the same thing you have from your heart. Mm -hmm. So do you think a lot of people have access to that bliss or is it is it more common or, you know it's what I mean? It's definitely not more common. It's become more common now, like, than in the past. I'm, I'm, I yeah. think so, too. I think but that's I, true. I definitely think it's more extreme, though. I definitely think for some people, they don't it's down. not like they have no, that's the majority, have no clue. That's have true. never even... They're like, what the heck are you guys talking about? Most people about? have never even sensed happiness. <laughs> I mean, we talk about bliss. Most people have, have never even sensed happiness more than two, uh, uh, like three weeks worth of happiness. Yeah, no, that's the question. Like, what exactly is happiness? How many hosts have been happy for like three straight months? Like, you don't really even see that, to be honest. Someone who's always high. No, because they cry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any more drugs. They're like, wait a second, I'm no. sad. <laughs> I'm so I, I, I definitely think bliss is important because um, the heart chakra, we're vibrating on that level. And for these days and time is very important because the heart that's chakra, true. you have to be able to transmute negative energy because it's a whole bunch of negative energy. So you think that's like it, being um, residing in your heart chakra is consistently transmuting um, um, negative energy? I mean, I'm, I'm sure somebody could look at a, a more scientific version of it, but from mm. an esoteric version, there's no question. The heart chakra is the one chakra that, that could transform lower energy into higher energy. But sometimes if you have, like, I know, like, if, if I'm like, sometimes I have my days when I'm like, completely sensitive in my heart chakras but sometimes it's just like I'm numb of course it depends on different things but well, sometimes I don't even like being around people if, if I'm too like like my heart's too open and, and that's not being different as being compassionate you want to heal everyone it's just being like knowing your limits I guess right well in, in alchemist traditions the um, heart chakra we relate to copper and copper is actually more electrical than gold and silver 
Mm-hmm. Flip it up. It transfers That's true. more energy. That's but true. it's not it's gold and silver more stable. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. copper it's like Venus personalities. It, it give it like it, it it copper is so unstable if you make if you have a copper pot and you mix up an alchemic formula, they tell you don't mix an alchemic formula and copper pot because the pot would, the metal in the pot in the in the pot will actually go into the formula. Oh, that's it, true. It gives, it gives itself way too much. That's true. So sometimes people have strong heart chakras, but that doesn't mean bliss is when your heart chakra is stable. stable. That's it's true. Big difference. That's true. Because because yeah, if you're too compassionate, and I've seen people whose their, their heart chakra is like open, but they don't know their limits, and then they then they become like very very compassionate, but very angry at the same time. So they're like like it's a swinging from love hate love but hate actually, love hate. It's actually- <laughs> As a healer, there's actually an imbalance in their system. They there have, is. Yeah. De- definitely. definitely. That's, that's why they, they, they're too compassionate. They're too compassionate, yeah. right. And I think a lot of times, like, mothers can be like that sometimes. And, you know, they, when they call them, like, the drug addict, they call them, like, the enablers and stuff like that. But it's true. It's like you have to have, like, a stable heart chakra. But sometimes when you have a stable heart chakra, you know how to, I don't know, you have to, like, cut off yourself from people because you know it's not healthy, you know. And it's really interesting. So connecting to that bliss is Very what's important. important. What's important. Um, um, a strong heart chakra is very important this day and time. Do you think having the third chakra, heart chakra, is more important than having a crown or third eye chakra open? I don't normally like to get into which, which chakra one's is more important, important. But for our state of mind, yes. Yeah, that's there's true. no question. You could have if your first four chakras from the root to the heart is open, you could have a healthy life. That's true. You understand? If your crown chakra is open, but the lower chakras are not, you're not gonna be healthy. <laughs> you, and that's not gonna you're going to be like out of, out of like people, you, people are going to exactly. have to ground have, you we see it all the time we see it all the time people Actually. are like out of this world <laughs> space cadet <laughs> because sometimes sometimes it's it, people say how could you have a um, a crown chakra is open and the root chakra is not well they, that, they don't understand how energy flows if you're, if you're more cosmic you can have that's true. a stronger upper chakra Chakras. but that's very and, rare yeah but it's possible it's there, there and, that does happen and then if you're stronger earth wise the lower the chakra is be... coming from the feet up Right. It's different. So it depends how your energy vibrates. Right. You understand? So there's anomalies, though. There's no question. So to me, the heart chakra, for our state of mind, where, where we're eating Monsanto foods, and, and I could go on and on. Um, air, <laughs> and Frankenstein, like salmon. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> the fluoride water, yeah, yeah, I mean, chemtrail air. You know, I, right now, I always tell people, optimum health comes first. So for sure. So heart chakra, you ain't going to have no optimum health. You ain't going to have true. no health if you don't have that. That's true. So. That's true. And, 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 then, and, and then if people are going from, like, the... the um, earth energy to the cosmic energy it, it, it doesn't matter that that, that that heart is a balance between yeah, both of them it, tran- it transmutes it to the higher to the, higher higher to the shorter or, or, the, or, the, or the higher chakras or the lower so chakras exactly so I'm not going to say it's more important for our, our condition right, right because now. because it's, it's it's like the balance it's mm-hmm. the ultimate balance between the chakras for right now Definitely. so it's a quick video hope you guys like it and if you guys are interested radiolab.org um, I, I really like it I know it might not be for everyone but check it out peace peace